Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Lost Lion. Uh, day six, Cozumel. I got my jersey ready. We're gonna explore the island, drive around, go to a few beaches. But for now, let's go have breakfast. It is 8.30, we dock at nine. So we're gonna go straight to the car rental and I'll let you guys know the price of everything and what to do and how to do it. All right, breakfast is served. We're looking at Cozumel in the distance. All right, now in Cozumel, touchdown. This is a different port, so hopefully we can still rent the car that I had imagined that I always do when I'm here. All right, again, just to recap, we found a vehicle for $100 for about six hours. Not too bad in my opinion, although it was less pre-COVID, but we understand why. I just have to give my ship card uh, in, in exchange for the car so I can bring it back safe in town. Let's go explore, go somewhere. His name is Orange. <laughs> When you want to open, you don't want this, you want a bag. Because you want to like this one, you don't want to go. It's a lot of this. Aquí en México, tú sabes que le decimos hasta la vista, baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tito. Bye. Alright, here's the seatbelt. Look at this. Here it is. Here we go. Ugly, ugly little orange car. But we love it. Look at him. Right there. Anyways, we're here in the Punta Sur. So in the southernmost point of Cozumel, uh, we might go to some of the free beaches on the far end over there. We're on the south side, so we're gonna go on the, I think it's the east side. Love it. I came here four years ago, with two, two brothers of mine, and uh, we enjoyed it. Really drivable, really easy, very chill. All right, we have to unveil the 2025 Chevrolet Orangutan. Look at this beautiful thing. 600 horsepower, zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Beautiful, 18 inch rims, amazing. You know, it's it's a prototype, so don't worry, it looks a little bit on the ugly side, but look, it just looks amazing. All leather, all from Italy. Look at this beautiful thing. It's a convertible as well, but half the back is missing. I don't know why. 2025 Chevrolet Orangutan, the best car in the world right now. That way to downtown, this way to the east side. It's been fun so far. I think we've driven half a closer mile already, and it's only been 30 minutes in, so. Cozumel, here we are, El Mirador, if you want to come to El Mirador, Mirador, this is what you see. With the beauty of Cozumel, we found a random beach, nobody around us for meters and meters long. It's beautiful. So happy to have stopped here, it is beautiful. Doesn't matter what color the flag it is. I mean, there's a red flag here, but nobody's listening to this red flag. That means like, don't get in the ocean, but oh well. Nobody in sight. Absolutely gorgeous. Big waves, I love it. Perfect for me. Beautiful blue turquoise color. We have arrived to Cozumel, Coconuts it's called. No shoes, no t-shirts, no problem. <laughs> Going to the bar restaurant up there with the beautiful view of the ocean. Okay, here at Coconuts, I like the menu because it's very unique. Look at that. Drinks on one side, food on the other. So the prices are a little higher, but of course, this is a very touristy island in general. So. All right, well, we're enjoying our time here at Coconuts. I do recommend it. It's on the very western tip of Cozumel. Very beautiful. Prices are somewhat reasonable. I will say that it is very Americanized, but of course, because Cozumel is that way, uh, beer's good, the tacos look amazing, so 
let's try it and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we have tacos de res here. We're gonna try chips and salsa, and we have shrimp tacos. We just enjoyed coconuts. It's very nice. It has a nice ambiance to it, and it has uh, the beach gratified for me. Food wasn't that great, uh, but the views are worth it. So come and join coconuts. All right, well, we have come to the end of Cozumel. All we got to do is go that way, cut through the middle of Cozumel, and go back to the town. So we're just taking one last look at the water before we head inside of Cozumel. You can see the water is more green over here. Look at that. And the mean streets of Cozumel, San Miguel, is the name of the city here. Very lively, you guys. You'll find coffee shops and taco stands and restaurants, everything here. All right, so that's what $100 got us. We rented the car for six hours, dropped it off with Manuel, nice guy. We explored Cozumel. We did not do the ruins, that's the one thing we didn't do, so maybe next time. But for now, we're gonna get back on the ship. This port has always been one of the best, uh, just because I love to drive around and explore the beaches. Looks like it's about to rain, so we better go on the ship. Beautiful, beautiful sunset here in Cozumel, Mexico. And uh, we're looking at the pier right now. I think we're about to leave. Can't wait to come back some other day and uh, do it all over again. Okay, let's give it a shot and let's go on the racetrack. Hopefully there's a spot available. Even though everything's booked out, a lot of people do miss out. So I'm gonna take one of those spots. I assure you of that. We got lucky. Okay, so they check your weight and your height. I was fortunate to find a empty spot, uh, so I didn't make a reservation. So it's a hit or miss. Don't count on people canceling. So I was just super lucky to get it. Okay, just went on the racetrack. It was super fun. So nine minutes, you get about you get about nine laps. I'm gonna guess about maybe nine or ten. And uh, they're really strict on you hitting somebody else. So just watch out with that. Fifteen dollars, well worth it. It goes faster than you think, but it was amazing. It was fun. I was second place, almost won, but not really. Delicious chicken biryani. Look at this biryani. Basically a rice bowl with chicken. The Indian spices. Ooh, that looks so good. Now we have my brisket here with the barbecue sauce. A little bit of coleslaw and some potatoes at the end there. Well, we just had a beautiful day in Cozumel as you've seen in the video. Tomorrow is a sea day, so super relaxed and uh, probably going to try to do some activities around the ship. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everyone in the YouTube world. This is The Lost Lion and we'll catch you guys tomorrow on a sea day. The last day on the Norwegian Prima for us. We had an employee tell us that the Prima is actually the most beautiful ship on the ocean right now and we believe it. We got a Mai Tai right here. Of course the drinks are not included. This was about $11. It's like a 